Let's talk to uh, Sergeant Bird. Sergeant Bird, thanks for calling the shoes. What you got? What up, Stu? What's up, Sergeant Bird? Bird? <laughs> Master Sergeant Bird from Tucker, Georgia, coming to you guys live. But listen, uh, I tell you, I, uh, football, uh, you guys are going to have to help me out on this, man. This is the freaking Giants who was 7-7 seven and seven at the middle of the season. Uh, they wanted to run Coughlin out of town along with Eli as well. Uh, can you imagine what they can have them all uh, for New York to win the Super Bowl? Mm. I mean, how, how did this happen? Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. It, it doesn't happen, man. Unbelievable. But, again, the one thing I'll say, Sergeant Bird, is that's why you play the game. I mean, no that's one's right. ever out of it until they're out of it. And if you're still you're in it, it. You, can, you, you can keep on playing it. Anything can happen. Appreciate the call, Sergeant Bird. Yeah. What, what if the NFL, we mentioned this last week, what if the NFL did it like they do in the BCS? The Giants wouldn't have even made no. it to the playoffs. No. The, the Giants wouldn't have had an opportunity no. to win and get better throughout a season and peak at the end of the year. Right. That's usually how sports works. But in the BCS, uh, if you don't have a certain resume, you don't even get a chance. Right. Are you kidding me? Right. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Daryl, Daryl, thanks for calling the shoes. Daryl, what you got? What up, dude? What up, Daryl? Uh, well, I got a couple humps and a couple uh, heroes. That's okay. Let's hear them. I want to give a hero to Eli for the throw and to uh, Manningham for the catch, man. It was an incredible catch on the sideline and keep that drive going. Mm-hmm. And my humps, I got to give Bella check a hump for taking that kid the day before the Super Bowl. Oh, I meant to I talk mean, about that. I meant to talk I, I about he, that. I know he wasn't going to get in, but, I mean, cutting the guy day before the Super Bowl, that's, that's kind of bad. And I want to give a hump to Giselle. I don't know if you guys heard the audio yet. A guy yells at her. Eli owns her husband, and she yells back. He can't throw the ball and catch it. With Daryl, is that not a true statement? <laughs> but that's the old Buzz Bunny routine, man, for the cartoons <laughs> when he was pitching and go catch it. <laughs> hey, Daryl, thanks for the call, man. You going? Yeah, man. Belichick cut that Underwood kid. Hey, man. For Super Bowl. But but I understood. No, who does that? But you heard the reasoning why, no, right? No, the kid didn't play. Okay, when we get back, we'll talk about that. Yeah. And we'll grab more of your calls. And the Hall of Fame class was elected this weekend. And uh, we'll give you our thoughts. It's just bad karma, man. You don't do that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll grab more of your calls. Need your heroes and your humps. Two live stews, 790 The Zone. The Two Live Stews. I'm going back to the toilet. Uh, I'm going to need you all to sit down and shut up. Yeah, that's right. Now back to the boys. The Two Live Stews. Sports Radio 790 The Zone. All right, if you're uh, joining us, obviously we're talking about the Super Bowl. Doug Stewart, Ron Stewart, two lives, two, seven, ninety to the zone. Want to get your heroes and your humps from the weekend as well? The uh, 1 o'clock hour brought to you by Toyota of Union City. Toyota of Union City has a 24-hour return policy. If you don't like the deal or the car, return it. No questions asked. Um, you mentioned before we went to the break, and we're going to grab your calls, 404-233-7979. Talk about this Hall of Fame class elected this weekend. But you mentioned that it was bad karma to cut the uh, the wide receiver Tyquan Underwood yes. the day before the Super Bowl. Yes, you you really believe that? Yes. Now you know all of the reasoning behind why yes. the Patriots did this, why Belichick did this. They wanted an extra defensive end. They wanted an extra defensive end that they didn't use. That would probably have more of a chance to play than Underwood would. They, Underwood wouldn't go get on the field. Basically, is what they're saying. But they didn't use the defensive end either. No, but the defensive end could sub- substitute for Gronkowski or special teams. Okay, but, that was part of the reasoning. But they didn't, he didn't play. Did he not play on the special I, teams? I, I don't think – don't, don't that, quote that, me. That, that was part of the reasoning. Is Underwood was not right. going to play special teams. Right. This kid that they brought in off the practice squad was going to take Gronkowski's spot who, who, on special teams. Who does that? You've got 53 other guys. You've got 52 other guys. I totally get it. Don't cut the Underwood guy. <laughs> I totally get yeah, it. No, but see – They were trying to win. But, Doug uh, – Okay. They were trying to win. So, and I don't think the Underwood kid was mad about it either. Well, no, he wasn't. He was a professional on Twitter. Wished the team the best. Understood. Wait, said well, he doesn't have anything to fuss about. If they won, would he have not got a ring? Oh, he would have got he would have got the eighty eight thousand dollars and the ring. So I don't I don't understand what's your beef. So that's a slap in the face. You cut the guy before the Super Bowl? You cut the guy before the he worked all week too? So it's so, so this is charity now then. No, it's not charity. Or are you trying to win? Listen, man. Guys get cut all the time. Okay. Not before the Super Bowl. <laughs> not, no, guys don't you, get cut before the Super Bowl. Here you go arguing with emotion. Not, not before the Super Bowl. Right. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Your only argument is not before the Super Bowl. Hey, man. Well, wh- the logistics of it is they needed another body didn't play. that had a better he chance didn't play. to play. He didn't play. Okay. Use the 52nd, 51st, or 50th player on the roster for special teams. 
Don't let this kid work for the last two weeks for a Super Bowl, you, be a part of the Super Bowl team, and cut him. You do know this kid didn't – he wasn't part of the team for, like, 80% of the season, he right? He was active for eight games. Right. Yeah, he was active for eight games. Uh-huh. He was part of the team that practiced for the last two weeks for the Super Bowl. So you're saying it's worse. I'm that, saying that's that, part that, of the reason why they lost because yeah. Bill Belichick – Play Shady Pool with Underwood. Uh, that's what I'm saying. 404-233-7979. I want to get your who thoughts on that? that as well. And that's that's the thing with smart people. They're so smart. Sometimes when they overthink the process, they think it's validated. There's no reason to cut that kid. Zero. <laughs> uh, uh, brother Ponder, Brother Ponder, thanks for calling the students. What you got? Hey, students, what's happening? What up, what up brother? brother? Hey, man, I'm glad y'all had time. Real quick, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm a Patriot fan. But I was afraid that if it was a close game, that New York would win. And I'll preface, preface that by saying this. Good receivers catch a lot of passes. Great receivers make great catches. Wes Welker's made a lot of catches, but he's not a great receiver. He showed it last night. And I feel bad for him. But at the same time, Ryan, if you watched Ocho Cinco on that one route that he got a chance to run and the one catch he made, he burst off the line so hard that TD was seven yards back, not one Ocho to get behind him. I truly believe that if Belichick and guys that been so stubborn and use that use that that boy, it had a chance last night. P- partner, real quick, um, I agree with you totally. He looked good on that one catch he had. I gotta agree. Uh, the, the, one of the longest catches in the ball game for the Patriots last night. Why, in your eyes, do you think they overlooked him the entire year? You know something? I, I think uh, that, that, that that Bilicek has outsmarted himself. He's got he's got a chip on his shoulder, trying to break people, trying to form people into be the people who he wants them to be, as opposed to letting them, them, them be playmakers. Jerry Jones would have never have done that, to Michael Irvin. If they brought if they brought Ocho in, they should have let him be Ocho. And and with all due respect to the tight ends, Ocho Senko should have been on the field on that last play of the game, and he should have played. I'm very disappointed in, 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 uh, in Bill Belichick because they played poor and they were close all the way in and, and they lost the game. I got to find a new team to the roof or I'm gone. Hey, brother, I appreciate the call. <laughs> hey, man, when you really think about it, I think I can agree with the sentiment that I think Belichick out thinks himself sometime in the fact that, you know, uh, Danny Woodhead and Wes Welker and using tight ends, I mean – Really? Cutting the kid before the Super Bowl. Really? I'm thinking himself. Yeah. I mean, seriously. He's so smart. You that got he overthinks you, himself. You got Chad Ochocinco, and I don't know what their playbook states, but you got Chad Ochocinco, and you don't. You, you he catches 15 pass the whole year. He can't be that bad.